and welcome to another instalment of our Uganda field trial videos. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to make your very own flow meter and data logger artisan style. Um, this came about because in the lab we have to measure like the flow rate of water a lot and this used to involve me staring at a dial and watching it go um, round in a circle ten times and timing that. Uh, this was driving me um, slowly mad so we came up with the idea to digitise it instead and this is the flow meter that we came up with. You could use this in any wash project that you want. Um, we thought it might be useful for tracking water use in like perhaps refugee camps or you could just put it on your own you know, hose pipe at home to see how much water you use. So let's get started. <laughs> so basically to put it together um, you need like these components. What you do first is you put the mini sim into the big sim, the daddy sim, and you put this into your data logging shield and I should have given you the link for that in the description. You also need to put the battery in with the um, plus sign up. Um, and this is a battery that keeps a clock going in the um, data logging shield. The clock runs all the time and that allows you to see the date and time of the measurement that you took. What you do after that is you plug the data logging shield into the Arduino Uno and you basically do that by lining up the pins here and putting them in here. You might need to bend the pins slightly to get them in but that's okay, don't worry about that. So it just fits together like so. The next thing to do is to take our flow reading sensor and attach it to our um, little turtle here. So now we're ready to wire up our little turtle setup with our flow meter. So to do this, we take a look at the wires here and we'll use these wires to plug that into here. So we start with the red wire, we match that up with the red wire there. And that goes into the five volt terminal on the, on the data logging shield. We then get our yellow wire. I, this is orange because all of our yellow wires broke. And we plug this into the terminal 2 on the other side of the Arduino. We then take the black wire, this is our ground wire, put it on the other end here, matched up to the black wire, and plug this in to one of the two ground ports on the Arduino. And now that's wired up. To test if it works, you can blow through the flow meter in the direction that the arrow is facing. And that will show you on your screen that this setup works. If you want to check that your data logging is working and um, you need one of these if your computer doesn't have an SD card reader, which mine doesn't, so you simply plug that in, take out the SD card and plug that in and then when you open up the files you'll be able to see your um, comma separated variable file of all the readings that you took and this is really easy to import into Excel. Um, a few more things is if you want to have your data logger working without being plugged into the computer so it would just be recording to the SD card you can do something like a battery pack or any other like DC supply. We want to experiment in the future with using um, a solar DC supply so that we wouldn't have to change the batteries. Um, this just plugs into here and you can see that the power lights are on. To connect it to um, your pipes, there are a variety of adapters that you can use. These ones are from eBay. It just simply screws onto here, like that, and that fits into a um, hose, so you could put it on your hose pipe. Um, these plugs here are universal adapters, and these come in different sizes so that you can put them on different pipes. Thank you for watching.